Today, we'll dive deep into the fascinating subject of branding. We will cover the fundamentals of what defines a brand and the process of branding, the hallmarks of a powerful brand, the notion of brand equity, and lastly, an investigation into brand extensions. We all had cherished brands during our childhood, and it's likely that some newer brands have captured your attention in recent years. Brands like Tesla, Airbnb, and Uber have redefined their respective industries and are now part of our everyday lives. Brands hold a significant influence on how we judge products and ultimately make our buying choices. The strength of a brand lies in its capacity to elicit numerous associations, particularly if they are potent and affirmative. Let's explore this idea further. When you come across the Puma brand, what are your thoughts? You might associate Puma with athleticism, style, and affordability. Puma has become a well-known brand in the world of sportswear and casual clothing, even partnering with celebrities and athletes to further enhance its image. In contrast, when you encounter the brand Tag Heuer, you might associate it with luxury, precision, and elegance. Tag Heuer is a high-end watch brand that is synonymous with quality and sophistication. With its rich history and commitment to innovation, Tag Heuer has become a sought-after brand for watch enthusiasts and collectors. Both of these brands, Puma and Tag Heuer, have successfully created their own space in the market and have gained worldwide recognition for their unique brand identities. This highlights the importance of branding and how it can create a lasting impression on consumers, leading to customer loyalty and increased sales. As we continue our exploration into branding, we'll discuss the various strategies companies use to build and maintain their brand image, such as storytelling, memorable logos, and consistent messaging. We'll also examine the potential pitfalls of brand extensions, such as dilution and cannibalization, and the factors to consider when deciding whether to extend a brand. Branding is a complex and nuanced field that requires a deep understanding of consumer behavior, market trends, and company values. As you continue to learn about branding, you'll gain insights into the power of strong brands and the methods used to develop and sustain them in today's competitive marketplace. Various brands evoke distinct thoughts and reactions from consumers. A key strength of a brand is its ability to differentiate a product from its competitors. Brands add value, turning a generic product into something more than a product. Brands serve as distinguishing features that set products apart from others that may fulfill the same need. For instance, choosing Southwest Airlines might make customers anticipate a more enjoyable experience compared to other airlines. So, what is a brand? It is a name or symbol that identifies a product offered by a seller, setting it apart from products sold by competitors. The concept of branding has its roots in the practice of marking cattle with a unique identifier to establish ownership and differentiate livestock. Even back then, cattle bearing different brands were associated with varying qualities of meat. In today's marketplace, brands play a critical role. They help consumers recognize the manufacturer of a product, offering reassurance about the potential experience they will have with the product. In doing so, Brands hold the manufacturer accountable for the consumer's experience. For example, when Nike produces a pair of shoes, customers can easily identify the maker, and Nike strives to meet their expectations. Brands also offer legal protection. They safeguard the unique features or aspects of a product that provide a competitive advantage to the company. When a brand becomes known for producing products with specific attributes, it can more effectively defend its brand integrity. Customer loyalty to a brand helps a company retain existing customers when diversifying its product lineup. This loyalty guarantees demand and creates barriers for competitors seeking to tap into an existing customer base. Brands can also secure price premiums, as seen with the example of Kellogg's corn flakes being about 40% more expensive than a private label counterpart, despite similar taste profiles. Ultimately, brands represent essential promises of value. They convey the meaning, benefits, and experiences a specific product offers to consumers, helping them navigate their options. For example, 
Brands should answer a simple question. What do I get when I buy this product compared to another product?